Hi, this is Raven. A while back I created a tutorial on how to get an AI to shoot an object sort of for use in a firing range. Um, and since I released that, I've had quite a few subscribers uh, ask how to get a vehicle to do that um, or a guy with an RPG, um, a artillery, a mortar and a helicopter. So that's what I'm going to cover now. So it's going to be like a, a more of an advanced version. Um, and as you can see, I've got a, um, at the firing range, I've got a vehicle, a normal guy. Uh, oh, and that's the other thing. Um, the previous version I only shot one target and that was another re quite a few requests actually um, was the ability to shoot multiple targets. So that's another thing I've added in. So I've got the AI just with a, a machine gun, an AI with an RPG, I've got a vehicle with a, a turret on it, I've got a mortar here, I've got an artillery here and up here I've got a helicopter. Um, they can see like the colours, that's just so we can um, sort of visualise for demo purposes. So yellow for the helicopter, red for artillery. Uh, light blue for the mortar, green for a normal gunner, pink for the RPG and blue for the vehicle. So I'll go in. Okay, so that's just the helicopter going off. So um, I've just sort of hooked up these laptops just so that I didn't have 101 uh, triggers all over the place. So it's just easy for me. So if we go to our normal guy. Um, and I select shoot at target and the green targets are the ones he'll shoot at so you can see he shot that one and then that one and then that one and he'll just keep rotating like so and then I can stop him shooting so we'll stop him shooting for now and we'll go to the RPG so launch targets and again, he'll, he's got two targets, so these two uh, trucks. Oh, so that's truck here. Obviously, I've set the trucks to uh, God mode, just so that I don't have to keep respawning them. They'll just keep doing that. So we'll stop him launching. And we'll get the vehicle hunter to shoot at target. So you can see the turret turning there, and it's these two blue ones at the back. There you go, we'll stop him shooting. Uh, we'll get the mortar to go, send mortar. You can't see these targets, these targets are over this mountain somewhere. You might see one, I think I put one on the top of this mountain here. So we'll stop him and then we'll get the artillery to do it, send ordnance. Again you won't see these targets because these targets are um, on the runway which is the other side of the map. It's just so you can see it, it operating. So we'll shut that off, stop. And then finally we've got the helicopter. So heli shoot at target. And we've got two yellow. So we've got a yellow truck here. And then we've got another yellow truck over the back there. So once he's finished with this one, he'll move on to this one. And they'll just keep going back and forth like everything else. So we'll stop him shooting. And that's it. So what I've got here. Um, because it was impossible to um, have one SQF to do all of it. 
um because it just would have been a really long sqf and a lot um for you guys to sort of mess about with so i've got a sqf for each type so it's pretty self-explanatory by looking at them so rt is for artillery man is just for the gunner mortar rpg vic for vehicle and heli okay so if we open up the man one and in each one, I'll give you some instructions just to follow. Um, and obviously, if you have more than one guy, then just have, you know, man two, man three, man four, and so on. Um, and inside, um, I've separated. So first target, second target, third target. Obviously, if you want another one, then, then just copy and paste that bit and add it on. And that's the same across all of them. So what I'll do is, as usual, I will um, put all of these in my Dropbox, probably in one sort of zip folder, so you can just copy it um, to your hard drive and, and use the bits you want. Um, and hopefully that will cover most of your requests to do with that. All right, good luck.